Dr. Elena Romel here at Nourish Medical Center. Um, I just prescribed a great uh, therapy to a patient called nebulized glutathione. And I realize we don't have a video on this and I really want to share this with our patients and people who may be interested in nebulized glutathione. Glutathione is great antioxidant. It's really important for detoxification and specifically when nebulized, which means that it gets as a mist and a vapor into the lungs, it helps eliminate oxidative stress, it increases oxygenation in the lungs, and it helps to fight off um, viruses and bacteria through um, lung infections. So I really want to help you understand how to use nebulized glutathione if you are prescribed this treatment, or if you're interested in this treatment, you can call our medical center and uh, meet with the doctor. So glutathione and a nebulizer looks like this. You'd be prescribed a vial of glutathione, which is a liquid form of this nutrient, and then you will have a nebulizer. Either you can come to our office to use ours, or you can get one at your house. They all look a little different, but they're pretty much the same. It comes with a compressor, which is this box right here, which it creates the air to press through this tubing. The tubing then is uh, attached to what we call a medicine cup, and then the mouthpiece goes on the medicine cup, and then you breathe right through uh, the vapor and the mist that goes in. So how do you get the actual glutathione into the medicine cup? You're gonna be sent home with a syringe from the pharmacy or from our office. You open up the syringe, take off the cap, take your vial, put the needle in, and then you're gonna go ahead and dispense the amount of liquid and medication that your doctor prescribes. Once you get to that number, you're going to take your syringe and then release the medication into the medication cup. For safety, you want to always make sure to put the cap right back on, take your top piece, screw it on, and now you're ready to go ahead and press start. Make sure your nebulizer is uh, nebulizer's plugged in. Start button's right here, and then you're going to see there's going to be mist. Here it comes out. And you just take deep inhales, and then all that mist goes right into your lungs. Now a couple warnings so you know. The first thing is that glutathione smells like sulfur. Okay, these are um, medicinal components in glutathione. This is very normal, kind of smells like uh, rotten eggs. So this is normal, your glutathione is not bad. This is something to expect. The next thing just to keep in mind is that this process can take anywhere from five to 15 minutes depending on the dosage that's in here. And the last thing is your doctor may uh, um, recommend you adding sterile water in the solution. Um, different prescriptions are needed for different cases, so just keep that in mind. So this is a great treatment for someone who has asthma, bronchitis, or some chronic lung infections. Ask your doctor if this is a good uh, prescription for you, and if your doctor did prescribe it, I hope that this video was helpful so now you know how to use your nebulizer treatment. Now that you're finished with your treatment, what do you do with this thing, and what do you do with your glutathione and your needle? So the first thing is after you've done all your, um, your treatment, you'll know it's done because there's no more mist that comes out of your mouthpiece. So once that's finished and then you see there's no more liquid medication in your medication cup, turn your unit off and then you're going to go ahead and um, take your mouthpiece off. Un Ooh, take the tubing off from the medication cup and then you're just going to go ahead and wash this. You can wash it with some soap and water and then just lie out to dry. Same with the mouthpiece. You can reuse this whole system. You do not want to wash your tubing. The tubing just stays on the compressor. Um, the next thing is you're going to have your needle and syringe. You're going to want to twist the needle off and you're going to want to put this in a sharps container, which is one of these nice guys. Your doctor can rec uh, prescribe a sharps container or you can store these in any clothes, glass, or even a detergent bottle. Save these and you can dispose them at a sharps um, disposal place. So we don't want to put this right in the trash. The other last thing is your glutathione vial needs to be refrigerated. Put this in the refrigerator and then take it out for the next time that you need to use it. All right, I hope that you got to learn a lot about nebulized glutathione.